Hello, in this video we're going to go over problem B3 from 2018 Putnam Math Competition. So the question is asking us to find all positive integers n less than 10 to the power of 100 for which simultaneously n divides 2 to the power of n, n minus 1 divides 2 to the power of n minus 1, and n minus 2 divides 2 to the power of n minus 2. Here is what we're going to do. We are going to use a fact from number theory this is a pretty well known fact from number theory that I'm going to be using. So here is what the fact is. So we will be using the following fact. And the fact is this. If you 2 to the power of m minus 1 divides 2 to the power of k minus 1, then m divides k and vice versa. And this is for every two positive integers m and n. So it's a well-known fact. I would imagine that you would be able to use that fact. And if you would like to know why this fact is true, there is a video that I have worked through that uh, in details and, and also introducing you to the idea of order of an element. And I'm going to put the link on the upper right corner of the screen. So you should check that out. So how do we use this fact in order to solve the problem? We'll go step by step. So let's look at what happens when n divides to the power of n. n divides to the power of n if and only if n is equal to 2 to the power of k for some integer k greater than or equal to 0. Because all divisors of 2 to the power of n must be powers of 2. And also, n is always less than 2 to the power of n. And again, this is also a well-known fact. I don't believe you would need to prove that on a Putnam math competition. So that settles the first condition. Now let's look at the second condition. So n minus 1 divides 2 to the power of n minus 1, if and only if 2 to the power of k minus 1 divides 2 to the power of n minus 1, which is the same as saying k divides n which is the same as saying k divides 2 to the power of k, because n was 2 to the power of k. Now, and this happens for the same reason. This happens when k is equal to 2 to the power of l for some integer l greater than or equal to 0. Finally, we'll have to look at the last condition. n minus 2 divides 2 to the power of n minus 2. If and only if, I'm going to substitute that. So n is 2 to the power of k, and k is 2 to the power of l. So that's 2 to the power of 2 to the power of 2 to the power of l minus 2. We are going to divide both of them by 2. We get 2 to the power of 2 to the power of l minus 1 minus 1 divides 2 to the power of 2 to the power of 2 to the power of l minus 1 minus 1. And this happens if and only if, by applying the same fact, 2 to the power of l minus 1 divides 2 to the power of 2 to the power of l minus 1. And applying the same fact again, L divides 2 to the power of L, which is to say L is 2 to the power of M for some integer M greater than or equal to 0. So what we showed is we showed N satisfies the given conditions, all three conditions, if and only if n is equal to 2 to the power of k, k is equal to 2 to the power of l, and l equals to 2 to the power of m for some integer m greater than or equal to 0. Now we're almost there. All we need to do is to make sure that n is less than 10 to the power of 100, because they asked us to find all of the n's that are less than 10 to the power of 100. So clearly this is an increasing sequence. If you increase m, this is going to be increased. So let's plug in different values of m. So we get m equals 0 gives us 2 to the power of 2 to the power of 0, which is 1. That would give you 4. So that's one possibility. m equals 1 gives us 2 to the power of 2 to the power of 2, which gives you 2 to the power of 4. Clearly that's also smaller than 10 to the power of 100 m equals 2 gives us 2 to the power of 2 to the power of 2 squared, which is 4. That is 2 to the power of 16, which is clearly less than 10 to the power of 100, because both 10 is greater than 2 and 100 is greater than 16. m equals 3 gives us 2 to the power of 2 to the power of 2 cubed, which is 8. 
this is 2 to the power of 256 we can write it down as 8 if you divide the exponent by 3 we get 256 over 3 and clearly this is less than 10 to the power of 100 because base is less than 10 and exponent is less than 100. We're going to plug in m equals 4 and they grow quite rapidly so we should be able to get to the answer pretty soon. So then we get 2 to the power of 2 to the power of 16 because that would be 2 to the power of 4 and this is this seems to be too large and the way we can prove this one is by dividing the exponent by 4 so we get 16 to the power of 2 to the power of 14 and this is clearly more than 10 to the power of 100 because the exponent is more than 100 and the base is more than 10. So the answer is n equals these four numbers that we found 4, 16, 2 to the power of 16 and finally 2 to the power of 256. So these are the four possibilities of n. If you like this video make sure you subscribe to the channel where you can find more videos like this and I will see you in the next video.